Well, we have a nice little break in the Dude Fest right now, one of my favorite parts of the show. Let's check in with Stephanie Haney to look and see what's clicking in Cleveland. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Mike. Definitely happy to break up the Guy Day Friday, although all of you guys are just fabulous. But speaking of Friday, a lot of people are wondering what's going on if they're able to refuse a mask with things reopening and rules different everywhere. So remember, we are in a state where it is not legally required that you wear a mask. So the answer is sure, you can refuse to wear a mask, but a private business can also refuse to serve you. So it's just like a dress code policy, no shoes, no shirt, no service, so you can now add no mask to that list for a lot of places, as long as they're not discriminating in how they enforce it. Another question that a lot of people are asking because hand sanitizer is so popular right now is can hand sanitizer catch on fire in your car? So you may have seen this post that's been circulating on social media. This is of damage to a car that's supposedly from hand sanitizer that caught fire. So our verified team checked out if that's possible. Yes, it is possible, but it's not very likely because hand sanitizer is flammable, but you would need something like five gallons of it for it to do something like that to your car. So if you do have five gallons of hand sanitizer, which does not seem likely since it's so hard to come by right now, but if you do, keep it in a safe, cool place at home. Now, while we're talking about safety, safewise.com has just released rankings of the safest cities in Ohio. And this is what they came up with based on 2018 FBI crime data. The safest place is Broadview Heights, followed by Sagamore Hills, Olmstead Township, Poland Township, and Rocky River in the top five. So we have the link to that full list of 167 places on WKYC.com and on our app. So. Of course, I had to check out where Canton falls on that list, and they fall at 166, right in front of Cleveland, which is last at 167. I don't know what it means to come in last on the list of safest cities, Mike, but I feel pretty good about being here. Yeah, it's not ideal. Although, I've been to Olmstead Falls, and they're right, nothing <laughs> happens there at all whatsoever. Um, Stephanie, you saw that Jay earlier in the show mentioned that he's going out on his boat this weekend. I was not invited. I'm having a campfire in my backyard with my sister in the driveway. Uh, if we don't get invited on Jay's boat, you can come and hang out with us if you want. I don't know if you have plans. Perfect. Sounds good, since right. Jay so just, rudely left us out of that boat trip. You're both invited. I'm sure you're it was both just invited. an oversight. <laughs> you're, you know what? You, you weren't invited to this conversation we in the same way that we weren't invited on your boat, all right? <laughs> all right. We'll figure this out during the break.